explanation has been a numerous thing, alluded to as the hypothesis of ancient inestimable explosion. Numerous examinations, furthermore, crafted by a large number of scientists, support this thought, giving confirmation about how the universe started. At any rate, in the present universe of science, new developments bring us novel contemplations and perspectives. These considerations challenge our perspectives. We're certain pieces of knowledge. Neil deGrasse Tyson has become a huge figure in this impacting universe of science. Now, something empowering is happening with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's imperative, something that could make us question the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. The James Webb Space Telescope has followed down 750 new universes. These frameworks are not exactly equivalent to what we expected, leading us to rethink what we believed we had some awareness of them. This degree was expected to help us appreciate how enormous frameworks turned out to be. So, it's not stunning that it's working up how we could decipher the universe. In the past, analysts said that the Big Bang speculation was a great explanation for how the universe started. By this speculation, around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe showed up through a baffling cosmic event, like the outrageous story of the universe's prologue to the world. However, the pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope have tried this idea. These photos show universes that are more unobtrusive, smoother, older, and then some various than what the hypothesis of how things came to predicts. According to the speculation, as the universe expands, objects should look more prominent the farther away they are. Yet these grandiose frameworks don't keep that rule. The theory also expresses that, at the actual beginning of the universe, all the stuff that makes up the universe was squeezed into a minute superdense point called a quirk. This idiosyncrasy was incomprehensibly hot, more smoking than whatever we could really measure or make. This idea of an eccentricity comes from a lot of conditions in actual science proposed by Albert Einstein called general relativity. Inside the idiosyncrasy, all the stuff in the universe was pressed into a little space with extremely high density meaning there was an enormous measure of mass and energy squeezed into a little space. In less mind-boggling terms, specialists have reliably said the hypothesis of how things came to be was the means by which the universe started. At this point, however, these new pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope are making us question that thought. The universes it found don't fit with what the speculation expected, and the speculation explanation of the early universe presumably will not be just about as certain as we thought. In our continuous perception of the universe, we acknowledge that all the energy in the universe started from a very hot and extremely thick point called a quirk. This characteristic is like the early phase for all that we see in the universe today. After this particularity, the universe began to broaden and foster over around 13.7 billion years to become what it is today. The augmentation started with something many allude to as the Great Expansion, where the universe grew inconceivably rapidly much faster than the speed of light. It's like the actual surface of space itself was expanding, and all that in it was stretching out alongside it. This limitless extension had an effect, shaping the universe by making things more uniform and clearing a path for universes, stars, and other affected plans to form. As the universe kept on developing, it didn't reach out as fast as during the Great Expansion. However, it still continued to get bigger. We call this consistent expansion grandiose development. Specialists have seen verification of this augmentation through things like the way light from faraway universes changes variety, known as redshift. Now we ought to examine those shocking pictures of new universes taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. To the greater part, these photographs look stunning, with numerous universes in a solitary frame. Anyway, for analysts, it's to some degree a shock. These photos don't match what their theories expected. As an issue of some significance, these universes are significantly more seasoned than anticipated, which challenges our perspective with respect to astronomical framework structure and development. As indicated by the hypothesis of ancient vast explosion, there are additionally a lot more grandiose frameworks than we anticipated. The hypothesis of the universe's beginning made conjectures about the number of frameworks there should be and the way in which they should be fanned out. Anyway, the JWST pictures show an enormous number, many more universes than guessed. This makes specialists question whether the speculation estimates are exact. A couple of scientists are in any event, 
starting to overcompensate a piece in light of the way that these revelations try not to match their suppositions by any means. One more astonishing piece of these new grandiose frameworks is their flawlessness, which clashes with what the hypothesis of how things came to proposes. According to the speculation, universes should show irregularities and assortments in their structures due to how they outlined and grew. At any rate, the photos from the JWST show universes that are peculiarly smooth, without the typical complexity and harshness during the advancement of the universe. All that makes up our universe was squeezed into a small space. As the universe expanded and chilled off, changes occurred in particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons, which started to interact with light and energy around them. These correspondences accepted a significant part in trimming the advancement of issue in the universe. In the underlying two or three minutes after the Big Bang, there was a cycle called nucleosynthesis, which involved the making of lightweight parts like hydrogen and helium. These parts set the stage for the course of action of stars, infinite frameworks, and more complicated parts. As infinite history spread out, this blend of fundamental construction blocks was a basic stage in the universe's advancement, advancing from a beginning phase C of particles and energy to a state where matter began to come to fruition. The hypothesis of ancient astronomical explosion had expected to see universes that were jumbled and, at any rate, upset because of different crashes. The JWST pictures recount a substitute story. Instead of turbulent and dissipated universes, the photographs reveal smooth circles and proficient winding shapes, looking like the framework seen in the current day universe. This frightening finding challenges the prospect that unions are a normal piece of universe improvement. Accepting there are not a lot or no unions happening in these universes, as proposed by the hypothesis of how things came to be, it becomes unrealistic that tiny universes could create to become ordinarily greater. Likewise, the optical trickiness expected by the growing universe theory, where objects appear to be more modest with increasing distance because of improvement, doesn't give off an impression of being accessible. Space specialists have seen a striking design where vast frameworks will generally pack together in immense social affairs, framing diverse networks across the universe. This saw gigantic scope structure lines up with the assumptions made by the hypothesis of the universe's beginning. As per the speculation, the universe began in an exceptionally hot and thick state and then leisurely expanded and chilled off over time. As the universe expanded, gravity played a huge role in embellishment how matter was scattered and in organizing universes. The gravitational effects expected by the hypothesis of ancient inestimable explosion are predictable with what we see today with gravity pulling matter together, provoking the bundling of cosmic systems and the game plan of interconnected filamentary structures known as the vast web. The presence of these system gatherings and the cosmic web structure unequivocally upholds the Big Bang theory. How frameworks are conveyed across the universe lines up with the gravitational effects expected from the very outset thick and developing state proposed by the speculation. These variables, including the clustering of frameworks, the galactic web structure, and the scattering of universe bundles give strong verification that the universe progressed from an exceptionally thick state and has been stretching out over billions of years. Presently, we ought to get back to the size of the vast frameworks found by the JWST. These pictures conflict with what we assumed we had some familiarity with the Big Bang speculation. As per the speculation, little universes should create and extend through influences and solidifications with various universes. At any rate, perceptions made by the JWST feel fairly questionable on this idea. If astronomical frameworks were influencing and joining consistent with structure, we would see verification of these effects or thick in the collaborating scenes. Anyway, the photos show something different. The Big Bang is too a speculation, simply a thought without evidence. No, it is truly maintained by irrefutable confirmation, counting views of the redshift of light. Confirmation from faraway worlds gives support for the developing universe theory. Insights showing universes making some separation from each other propose interminable augmentation, as expected by the speculation. The flood of light parts like hydrogen and helium found all through the universe is moreover dependable with the hypothesis of the universe's starting point assumptions. Moreover, the colossal scale dissemination of universes revealed through cosmic outlines matches the plans expected by the Big Bang speculation. One of the main pieces of confirmation for the Big Bang speculation is the divulgence of the grandiose microwave foundation, CMB. 
The CMB is a weak radiation that fills the entire universe and addresses the radiance of the Big Bang. This tremendous radiation, first recognized in 1965, adjusts personally with the estimates made by the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. The notification characteristics of the CMB, counting its consistency and temperature scattering, unequivocally support the possibility that the universe was once in an extremely hot and thick state before going through expansion, a central part of the hypothesis of how things came to be. The disclosure of the inestimable microwave foundation is a basic piece of verification that offers us an exceptional look into the early minutes of the universe. It goes, probably, as a resonation of the fundamental stages following the Big Bang and plays a crucial role in hardening the hypothesis of the universe's beginning as our best clarification for the very beginning stages of the universe. Progressing disclosures have tried a couple of portions of the Big Bang speculation. The presence of universes with ages that show up to start before the Big Bang goes against the speculation's significant reason, proposing that the Big Bang may not have occurred as initially thought. Besides, everything probably won't have started from it. Safeguards of the Big Bang speculation had guessed that as the James Webb Space Telescope looked further into space and further once more into time, the quantity of recognizable universes would decrease over the long haul, provoking a huge dim age. At any rate, late research exhibits that even 200 or 300 million years after the speculative Big Bang, inestimable frameworks as tremendous as our Milky Way were ordinary. The JWST pictures reveal a significantly more unmistakable flood of colossal universes at red movements more prominent than 10 than what researchers had expected to test the believability of the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. Moreover, the hypothesis of the universe's starting point is connected with 16 wrong assumptions in the continuous gathering of sensible composing, with just one exact gauge with respect to the abundance of deuterium, a kind of hydrogen. A piece of these incorrect figures integrates assessments of helium flood which are off by an element of 2, and assumptions for the flood of lithium, which are off by a variable of 20. The speculation furthermore fails to get a handle on various quirks. For instance, the non-appearance of the normal double dealing, where things should appear to be more unassuming with extending distance. These abnormalities raise stresses over the authenticity of the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. By focusing on the shades of faraway frameworks in the infrared piece of the range, stargazers can evaluate the times of the stars. Inside these frameworks, a portion of these frameworks appear to have heavenly populaces that are in excess of a billion years of age, conflicting with the speculation certification that nothing should have started previously the Big Bang. Despite these basic inconsistencies, it's indispensable that the anticipated breakdown of the Big Bang hypothesis hasn't gotten sweeping thought in significant news sources. The non-appearance of all over care as to hardships to the hypothesis of how things came to be can be acknowledged to what's known as the sophomore's new garments influence, where investigating the speculation as often as possible prompts analysts being censured or set apart as unintelligent, which can obstruct further examination of elective speculation. The cyclic universe model explicitly could really seem okay of the new frameworks that have been perceived. These universes might be part of another cycle that we have taken note of. In any case, way noticing that is central. These elective hypotheses have their own complexities and challenges, and the scholastic community proceeds to explore and examine these contemplations. The journey for data and understanding in cosmology incorporates advancing examination and consideration of various speculations, and open discussions are basic for impelling our appreciation of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has given space specialists remarkable points of view on the universe, revealing quirks that could reshape how we could decipher inestimable history. One of the captivating pieces of these disclosures is the astonishing thickness and course of a head of schedule frameworks. The presence of such an abundance of colossal universes in the universe's beginning suggests that these plans outlined fundamentally sooner than as of late acknowledged. This demands not simply the plan, but also the cycles that were remembered to oversee universe plan. Besides, the JWST insights offer new data into the conditions of the early universe. For instance, the telescope has recognized signs of complex subatomic designs in a part of these old inestimable frameworks, illustrating that star game plan and substance upgrade might have happened more rapidly than the Big Bang speculation has suggested. This finding surmises that the fundamental conditions of the universe might have been better for the improvement of universes and stars than earlier models proposed. Other than the clarity of the JWST pictures, 
it is allowing specialists to study the relationship between universes in more critical nuance. This could provoke a reassessment of the gig that grandiose influences, dreams, and combinations play in the advancement of tremendous plans. The standard view, which heavily relied upon the hypothesis of how things became, set that these affiliations were critical for the turn of events and advancement of universes. In any case, the new data suggests that the early universe might have experienced a different dynamic one that requires reconsidering the systems of world development and advancement. The presence of exceptionally planned smooth universes in the early universe could similarly recommend that the cycles overseeing grandiose framework plan were more uniform than recently figured. This could suggest that the universe went through a more calculated and less turbulent improvement stage than the hypothesis of how things became expected. As specialists proceed to separate the data from the JWST, they are likely going to experience further abnormalities that test existing hypotheses. This persistent assessment is essential, as it not only tests the authenticity of the hypothesis of how things became but also clears the path for new speculative models that could all the more promptly make sense of the notification grandiose characteristics.